Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we'll be solving system of equations by substitution. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on system of equations, they will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. So here we are asked to find the solution to the system of equations by substitution. So when we are solving any system of equations by substitution, we want to make sure one of the variables is isolated, and it's by itself. In this case, we have y, and here we have x, and on the last example, we have both y's isolated. So since this y is isolated, we know that y equals 2x minus 5, and this 2x minus 5, we can plug this in to this y right over here because they mean the same thing. And when we plug this in, we are going to be left with one equation. So if we plug this in, we get 3x minus 4 times 2x minus 5 equals 5. Now we need to distribute the negative 4, so we get 3x, then negative 4 times 2x, or negative 8x, and negative 4 times negative 5, or plus 20, equals 5. Now we can combine like terms, so we have 3x minus 8x, or negative 5x, plus 20, equals 5. Now we can subtract both sides by 20, and we get negative 5x equals 5 minus 20, or negative 15. Now once we divide both sides by negative 5, we are left with x equals negative 15 divided by negative 5 or x equals 3. And that is the solution for the x value. Now what we can do, since we know what x equals, we can plug in this 3 back into the equation for any x. We can plug it in either equation, and so if we plug it into the second equation here, we'll get a direct answer for y. So we have 2 times 3 minus 5. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So now we got y equals 1. And our solution should be 3, 1. But what we should do is we should plug these values back into both equations to check our work. So for the first equation, we have 3 times 3 minus 4 times 1 equals 5. 3 times 3 is 9, and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and 9 minus 4 equals 5, which is indeed the right solution. If we plug this in for the second equation, we have 1 equals 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 5 is 1. And since 1 equals 1, we know that we got the right solution, which is 3, 1. Now, if we are asked to solve um, a system of equation like this by substitution. We need to make sure that this x is isolated by itself on one side. So we can add 4x or 4y to both sides to isolate x. Once we do that, we are left with x on the left side and 3 plus 4y on the right hand side. And then we can solve just like we did on the left hand side of your screen to get the solution of the system of equations. And if we get an example like this where 
the same variable is isolated in both equations, what we can do is we can plug in 3x plus 8 into this y right over here, or we can plug in 2x plus 5 into this y right over here. Either way works fine. So we can get something like 3x plus 8 equals 2x plus y, or plus 7, or the vice versa, 2x plus 7 equals 3x plus 8. And then we can solve, just like we did here, for x, and then plug the x back into one of the equations to solve for y, and then check our work. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.